Hello, I'm Scott Flanagan of Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you how to burn a copy of Windows 10 to a DVD. So basically, you can't use a CDR to burn a copy of Windows 10. It's too small. You need a DVDR. A DVDR plus R or negative R, doesn't matter which, it, depending on your burner you're using. And most burners down today recognize both regardless. Even RWs be all fine as much as fine as possible. Okay. Um, you don't get to see my face very much in my videos and everything else, so I am basically going to do this on Internet over the older version of Internet Explorer, so Microsoft Express, uh, Microsoft Edge, because most people are going to switch from seven and or are on a Windows Seven computer, they want to switch their computer to from the Windows Ten and stuff. And so I'm going to show you how to do it the proper way from the disk itself. I mean, to burn the disk, so you can burn the disk from the disk itself. So. Okay, uh, basically it's, the, it's your typical DVD-R, negative R, 4.7 gig byte disk. So, alright. Okay, um, let's get started here. As you can see, this is a, there you can see it as a preview, this is a video of another from a Windows 10 installation. It's going to be about the same, it's exactly the same thing, it'll be everything be down in the description. So, I'll let you know, just Follow these steps basically, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's a couple, there's a few links in my description. You just want to scroll down both this video and you'll see them. Um, you'll, there's like two, three links here one for Microsoft, the one for the burning software, and my Facebook if you want to contact me on Facebook other than YouTube. So, alright, let's click the first link. It'll take us to the Microsoft website. Alright, where you can download the ISO image for Windows 10, so you can burn it. All right, we'll bring you to this website. All right, okay. All right, you want to scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see Download Tool Now. You want to click that, and you want to click Save when it comes up on the bottom there. And after that's done, click Run. And you want to go ahead and accept, hit yes. I'll start the download program for Windows 10. Okay, you want to go ahead and accept the terms, license terms. Click accept. Okay, I'll give you two options here. Uh, you want to go to create installation media for another PC, not upgrade this PC. So I recommend you do that one instead. All right, after you select that, click next. Okay, basically here's where your options are. You determine, you got to determine what one you're going to need: the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Okay, basically the, for the for the differences, the 64-bit. You, uh, you need if the machine has more than three gigs of RAM, I recommend you go to six. You got to use the 64-bit to recognize any more of that RAM you have. You got four, eight gigs of RAM, or it won't recognize it in 32-bit. So if you've got less than three gigs of RAM, go to the 32-bit version. I recommend on that. Okay. The base looks like different types. Go ahead and check this box right here. Okay. Then after you see you see right here the options, there's 32-bit and 64-bit and both. Now the both you get both of them on one. But the problem is you got to have a dual-layer disk to get both on one disk. Okay, so that's an 8-gig disk, which those are more expensive to get. The much cheaper ones is the regular ones, 4.7 gigabytes. So you got to make a choice from 32-bit or 64-bit. Okay. All right, basically this I'm going to go for 64-bit. You want to select that one, uh, and then after you get ready to go, if you're ready to all this, just click Next. All right, and uh, it'll give you an option to do it to USB drive, flash drive. I might do that in another video for you later on. Uh, to burn from an ISO file, that's what we're going to do here. You want to select ISO file, uh, and if you select that, go ahead and hit Next. Click Next. Okay, at this point it'll ask you to save it. You want to save it as what you're downloading, basically. You want to go ahead and type in the Windows 10 
I'm downloading 64 bit. Go ahead and type in 64 bit in there. That way you know what it is, exactly it is. Save it to your desktop or where you're gonna know where you're gonna find it. When you go to the side over here, you see where it says desktop. If that you have that option or not, or you come up here, bring the bar down. You can go from there. So if usually it's on the side here, you want to click desktop, of course. On if, if you're ready to go, go ahead and click save. And it starts depending on your internet speed and your connection. Um, it depends on how fast it'll go. It's like if you're on a hard connection and that will go quick, pretty quick, it should go pretty quick. It'll go through this uh, downloading process, verification, and uh, basically creating the media. It will take some time though. Um, it, it part, uh, depending, I will put it on the video so I want to take it. might not take exactly that time to finish this. Uh, the Wi-Fi connection uh, will go a little bit slower, so just let you know, more slower. Wi-Fi is just it's just it's just slower than the hardline connection. So, okay, so it's basically wait to this video uh, to this is done, then we'll continue on. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, this basically right here, I just don't mind anything of this. The, this don't work, I tried before. All right, just click finish. Okay, brings you back to here again. Go ahead, close this tab or window out, but don't close the whole thing, just the tab. All right, and go back to the video or at the, or at this video. Then basically to burn the copy down in the same description, you want to click the next one down, the next link where it says free ISO burning software. Okay, you want to click that. It automatically should download. So we'll give it a minute, we'll give it a few seconds, it should pop up here. There it comes. You click save. And then click run. Okay, basically you want to go ahead and uh, put a blank DVD in your burner. As I said, it's got to be a DVD-R, plus or negative, don't matter. Uh, can't be a CD-R, that won't work. Okay, go ahead and put that in your ROM. So, all right, and if you're set to go on that, just click open here. Then you want to scroll down. Or find, make sure you're on your desktop part of it right there. Look when it says so desktop. Look for your Windows 10 64-bit right here. Select that and click Open. Okay. Then go ahead if you're ready to go. Uh, this should be already set fine where it's at. Go ahead and if you're ready to go, just click Burn. Welcome back. Uh, basically, that's uh, that's as soon as CD jacks and everything else after the burner and stuff. Well, didn't inject. So okay, didn't inject for me. Usually it does. If it does, you know. Okay. Basically, you want to eject the CD out of your ROM. Come on. Uh, 
after you eject it, you want, of course, you want to label it so you know what it is exactly. Is it, okay, after you label it, and you can reuse this disc over and over again. Just take care of it and so you don't have to reburn it again. Keep it from getting scratched up or anything. You keep on constantly using it again, over and over again. And go for scratches. Just basically label it like that. You know exactly what it is. You can constantly reuse it over and over again for future uses. So, basically, you want to do is close this program out. You can just click close, exit this. That's pretty much it. You're done at this point. You got a copy of Windows 10, 64 bit, or 32 bit. You know, that you can have that copy for a long period of time, as long as how long that CD will last for you. So, uh, if you need any, you got any questions, uh, need help, just leave your comments below. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, I mean, it, it, uh, this will be for that. This will help you for any time. So. Uh, eventually down the road, I'll do a USB drive one. So, okay, I appreciate watching this video, and you all have a good day. All right, thank you.